think of it as the f of x is the height of each rectangle and the dx is the width. dx means infinitesimally small piece of x. So what's the height here? It's not just f of x, because if you just take f of x, that would go from here all the way down to here. What's the problem with that? You're, you're supposed to be above y equals 5. Exactly, right. So what do you do? You take that away. What's the distance from there to there? Well, what's this height? f of x. What's this height right here? 5. So what's the distance between these two? Minus 5. So the height is f of x minus, so it's this. What you can do, and what you see in the work, is you see it written as two integrals. This is one of the integral rules. You can either start with two and put them together or break them apart. Either way is fine. They write this, 2 to 4 of e to the x dx minus what? The integral of 2 to 4 of 5 dx. That's all it is. That's all it is. Now, if you were going to do this, this right here is just a box. You can get an exact answer for that. What is the exact answer for that? From 2 to 4 with a height of 5. What's the width of that box? What's the distance from 2 to 4? 2. What's the height? What's 2 times 5? So this is 10, right? So you get that exactly right, right? So then all you're doing to answer this question is you are playing around with this right here. 2 to 4 of e to the x dx. And what is it asking you to do? It says uh, within one unit. Within one unit. So they want the error to be less than 1. What was that formula we've used a bunch of times? You have to do like the f of a b. It doesn't matter because it's absolute value, but let's do the f of b minus f of and the reason that order is preferred is because b, the b value is, usu is, is usually, not always, usually to the right of a times what? And it needs to be less than what? One, I think, right? Because it's asking, and it says, then write an integral expression representing this area and a value within one unit, right? So it's in within one, right? In this case, b is four and a is two. So what are you looking at here? You have e to the fourth minus e squared. Delta t is less than 1. So what's delta t have to be less than? 1 over this. And what are you going to need to use in order to get that answer? You need a calculator. Someone do that for me. What is, e, what is 1 over e to the fourth minus e squared? Calculating displacement. Now what about 3 to 6? That's a triangle again, right? So what's that going to be? That's 1 half. Well, what's the base? 3. And what's the height? 3. Yeah, exactly. So this is just? 4.5. Exactly. So how do you get e if you want to go from 0 to 7? Well, from 0, not all of them. The one from zero to negative seven. From zero, so from negative seven all the way to zero. From negative all the way seven all the way to zero. Which ones are those two? Exactly. You can add together a and b. You can add together a and b. It's asking for what's this whole area right there? What is that whole area going to be equal to? Eleven. Exactly. What about from zero to six for f? What about from zero to six? Which two do you have to add together from zero to six? C and d. What's that going to be? One point five. Yeah, negative three plus nine over two which is what, negative 6 over 2 plus 9 over 2, which is 3 over 2. Exactly. What about negative 7 all the way to 6? What do you have to add together? Well, a plus b plus c plus d. Or you can just do e and f together, exactly, because they already have those in there. So what do you have here? 11 plus 3 over 2. That's 22 over 2 plus, so what is it? Exactly. So when you break these apart, and you're given really nice shapes, it's really straightforward. This is more of a conceptual problem. This shouldn't be deep, deep, deep math. Now, what happens when you get all curvy? Well, you're gonna have rough estimates. You're gonna have rough estimates until we learn a little bit more math and we can get exact stuff. Okay, so what about this? Giving that function, sketch the graph. So this is what I'd like you to do. Using Desmos, everybody, graph that function and then sketch it really nicely on your surface. Using Desmos. Enter, apply, yeah. zero, yeah, so you have, 0 is a is 0, b is 5, and the number of intervals was what, 100? Is that correct? How's it look? Do you get something like that? 